Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about if they do this, walk away immediately, okay? So if it doesn't matter who it is, it doesn't matter if it's a lover, an ex-lover, someone you know in your personal life, uh, other than that, such as a family member or a friend, could even be a colleague, could even be a boss, right? The best time to walk away from those kinds of people is if they've done something like disrespect you, belittle you, make you feel bad on purpose, essentially. So the best thing to do when someone has disrespected you in this way, because the worst thing you could do is just sit and take it, right? And I know sometimes maybe you do need to bite your tongue on certain occasions, but most of the time you shouldn't allow yourself to be treated this way. Right, like 95% of the time you should not allow yourself to be treated this way. But society has made us soft and compliant, right? And it's just one it's just one of those things, right? It just seems like it's so much more difficult these days to stand up for ourselves, right? Because we're so afraid of offending someone or upsetting someone and and there are so many people that just take it, right? There are so many people that just allow to allow themselves to be spoken to in this way. And I was definitely one of those people, right? I was one of those people that would allow people to talk to me like this, right? Um, it happened quite a few times in different family dynamics that I had. And, um, and I would just take it because I didn't like confrontation and I was worried about the consequences of standing up for myself as well. I, I, I didn't know what that would mean, especially being the youngest in a family, right? So when someone does this to you, how do you respond? How do you respond in such a way that they actually start chasing you and they start asking you for forgiveness? Now that's not 100% guaranteed because some people are just gonna t- talk to you the way that they feel like they wanna talk to you, right? And it's with those people you need to distance yourself from. But most people, right, who you come into contact with, who care about you, do actually love you, but perhaps they're just um, being mean to you because perhaps that's just something that they've always done and it's something that you've always took, right? You've always taken it and not done anything. So they feel like they can, right? So when they do something like this, obviously the best solution is to walk away. Now, but there is a certain way that you can do this in order to get them to chase you, to apologize, to notice their mistake and perhaps even change their behavior, okay? And changing their behavior is the key here to see actually how they feel about you. Because if they don't change their behavior after doing this, then, you know, clearly they don't care about you enough. And that's someone you need to distance yourself from or cut out your life completely if you can. Now, that might not always be the case. Some people you have to keep around in your life or some people you have to be around for some, for certain reasons. It could be family members but you can or people that you work with, but you certainly can measure the distance between you and spend less time with them. Okay. Obviously sometimes you may not be able to if you like literally work side by side next to each other and you can't move. Right, but I'm sure there's other ways around that too. I'm sure you could ask someone to move to, to be able to remove yourself, right? Especially if you're having issues. Okay, so what do you do then? Okay, so when someone disrespects you, when someone belittles you, makes you feel small, makes you feel awful about yourself, and um, the best thing to do is to say something like, "Hey, you know what? I do not like the way that you just spoken to me. I find it really disrespectful, and you know what? It hurt my feelings." Um, and you know, I'm in a, I'm in a good mood and I want to continue to stay in that good mood and I want to continue to be happy, right? So I'm just going to go, right? I'm going to walk away. And if you, you know, you you know how to contact me when you're ready to apologize, right? But I'm not going to sit here and take what you're saying to me right now. And then you leave, okay? And then what the, what you, and by saying, you know how to contact me, you know how to get a hold of me to apologize, right? You're putting the ball in their court, okay? So what's either going to happen is they're either going to like immediately just say, oh, no, 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 I'm really sorry. I don't know why I just said that. Um, you know, they're, they'll automatically backpedal basically on what they just said and they'll apologize. Um, and then you can forgive them. Um, obviously, <laughs> you know, to forgive them the first time, but I'll tell you what happens if this c- continues to happen even after they've apologized. 
So, and then another thing that might happen is they may not say anything and you do definitely need to walk away from them. You need to remove yourself from the situation, um, go home, um, or, you know, maybe you go into a different room, um, or maybe you just remove yourself from them the si- and the situation, right? Maybe if you live with them, if it's like a partner, right, you may need to go and um, spend, go back to your parents for a bit or go and s- s- lay on the couch of your friends or your another family members or something like that, Okay. And then what will happen then is then later on, after they've had some time to think about what they did, then they'll reach out to you and apologize and they'll message you, okay? Or they may phone you up or something like that, right? Or the other alternative is you walk away from them and nothing changes, right? And they continue to belittle you, make you feel small, make you feel awful about yourself, right? And if that's the case, then, you know, and they continue and they don't apologize or they apologize but still continue to do it anyway because that's also a scenario that can happen too. They can say, oh, I'm really sorry, but then they continue to do it. Or it might be the fact that, like I just said, that they don't apologize at all and they just continue anyway. So when it gets gets to that kind of stage, that's when you need to try and spend less time with them because obviously you don't matter that much to them. And as hard as it may be, as hard as it may be to hear, right? you obviously for some reason they don't respect you okay and there's nothing really you can do about that in in that kind of situation the best thing for you to do is to try and remove yourself and give them your absence right give them silence don't spend any of your attention on them or at least you know very little if you can't help but be around them right but if you can completely cut them out then completely cut them out right don't don't continue to to act to talk to them you know and maybe they'll change their mind in the future right but ultimately if they haven't if they have apologized but continue to do it or they haven't apologized and they still continue to do it then you know that they're not they're not worth your time you need to spend less time with them or you need to cut them out of your life completely okay and if it's someone you work with then you may need to go to your boss about it or your HR department and say that you want to be moved or to be put somewhere differently or you request them to be moved because you don't want to interact with them right so because 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 you don't it's really important that who you who's in your circle, right? Then that means who you who's in your circle when you're at work, who's in your circle when you're at home, who's in your friendship circle, you know, like your social life. They're so important, right? It's so important to have good people in those circles that treat you nicely, right? That at least respect you enough not to belittle you and make you feel like crap. Now, of course, you've got some friends out there that may banter with you, right? Or you've got like siblings that may like tease you a little bit, right? Things like that. You may even have a partner that teases you a little bit, right? And kind of, you know, um, knocks you down to size sometimes, right? But if it's something that's constant and you feel bad all the time and they're constantly doing this to you and they're belittling you all the time and, um, you know, you just feel awful about yourself and you feel like you've been taken advantage of, right? Those are the people that you really need to cut out or stop spending less, less time with them. But the, the important thing is, is that you want to have good people in your circles, right? That respect you and that love you. And the difference between someone that's teasing you and maybe belittling you a tiny little bit is that they're doing it in like a way that a sibling would. And you may have siblings that do this, right? They tease you, they banter with you, right? But you know deep down that they love you. But there are some people out there that are just going to be outright nasty to you, right? And uh, they're going to belittle you no matter what. They're going to make you feel small. They're going to disrespect you, right? And just make you feel bad and make your life a living hell sometimes, right? When you're around them. So it's really important that you keep your circles nice and clean of these people, okay? And I know it can be difficult, especially if some of these people are your family members. But if they don't respect you, you know, it it, it doesn't matter, okay? Because they don't respect you, right? You've got to have people in your life that respect you that talk to you nicely they may banter with you a little bit but you know deep down that they love you and they care about you okay it's really important that you have those people because if you've got someone at work someone who you, you live with someone in your friendship circle who is like a poison in your heart and it makes you feel awful you have to you just have to remove them or somehow okay and walk away from them Okay, because what you got to realize is that the people that love you, the people that care about you, even if they do slip up and they make a mistake and they say something that they don't really mean, 
right? Or they're mean to you. Maybe perhaps they do say something they mean, but they don't mean to hurt your feelings. They don't mean for you to like not want to be around them anymore. They're going to apologize. They're going to change their behavior. And you've got to be careful with those people that do not change their behavior, even after you've called them out on their bullcrap. Okay, it's really important that you pay attention to those people. And what you can do actually is you can, once you've done this, right, once you've walked away and they've said, oh yeah, I'm sorry, but then they continue to do it. What's a good thing to do is just write down any occasion, you know, that they, they, they do something, right? They do something like that. Um, and then afterwards, what you can do is when you've got like five different scenarios where they had mistreated you and said something horrible to you, you can say to them, look, look, hey, you know, the, the, you know, the other week you apologized to me for saying this to me, right? But since then, you've said this, you've said this, you've said this, you've said this, you've said this. So I'm just wondering what's going on because it seems to me like you're not a person of your word because you apologized for this. You said you'd never do it again, but here you are lying through your teeth and you've done it five additional times. I'm just wondering what's up with that, <laughs> right? Right, so sometimes it's a good idea to keep an account of what these horrible people do to you, especially if you can't avoid them, right? So you can call them out on it, right? So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to get in touch with me personally, and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com. And I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.